Inflation taking a toll on just about everything these days. Local nonprofits like Interfaith Outreach Services, well, they're seeing the shocking rate of families needing help in our community. Yeah, Markeisha Jackson spent some time with Executive Director Chris Gossam. And Markeisha, it seems they've been very busy trying to help everyone who needs it. Yeah, that they have, Lauren. And if things continue to go the way they're going, they know this increase in people needing help will only continue to grow. People are, are back at work. They're trying to make it. They're trying to get things going again since the pandemic. But they're still, now they're being hurt by inflation coming along. And we're, we're, all, we're all struggling. It's becoming harder and harder to stay afloat these days. From rising gas and food prices to rent increases, just about everything is costing more. And it's causing more people to ask for help from places like Interfaith Outreach Services. We're helping people sometimes move from an apartment that they've decided that is too expensive for them. We'll help them with a deposit to be able to get into some place that's more affordable. Food is just crazy. It's just going out the door. Um, people are coming every single day looking for food. Interfaith Outreach Services Executive Director Chris Gossam says while they do everything they can to help anyone going through a hard time, it's impacting them too. Well, we just wish we could do more. We always wish we could do more, but we're just glad that we are able to be here to help people. I don't think there's a person in the world that hasn't had a time when they had to ask somebody for help, and we're seeing a lot of folks, about 60% of the people we're seeing now have never had to ask for help before. And as inflation continues to hit many people's wallet, this help will only have to continue. It's just a cycle. You've got to have you've got to have a job, okay? Then you've got to get to your job, so you've got to have gas for that so that you go to work and make the money to buy the gas to get back to work. And it's just really uh, it's it's hard to see that you can get ahead. Now, if you or a loved one is in need of help, you can find information on services provided by Interfaith Outreach Services over on our website as well as ways you can volunteer and donate. So